Alright, so I've been using the Pixel 4a 5G as my main device for quite some time now. It's been a part of my daily routine and it definitely gets a lot of use for media consumption, gaming, and of course communication. Now the 4a 5G currently sits as the middle child in Google's current Pixel lineup. That is until we get the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 5a. Now maybe you're interested in getting one for yourself or maybe you're just curious as to what all the hype is about. Well, let me share with you some of my experiences on using the Pixel 4a 5G and give some reasons as to whether or not you should get the smartphone in 2021. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mike here from Team VRY and yeah, let's get started. Perhaps one of the main reasons for getting the Pixel 4a 5G is for its camera capabilities. Throughout this YouTube channel, we featured a lot of camera and photo samples from different Pixel devices, and the Pixel 4a 5G is no exception. Google has shown what they are capable of with single lens cameras as seen on the Pixel 3a and the Pixel 4a, and the addition of an ultra wide lens on the 4a 5G adds more variety to the phone's imaging features. There's a wide range of functions on the camera, which of course includes some of my favorite features such as portrait mode, night sight, astrophotography, and you can even shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second on this phone, as well as capture time lapse and slow motion video. The OIS on this phone is on point as well and greatly reduces shakes and hand motion in video clips. The front camera isn't bad either because, again, Google's camera software makes a huge difference. If you're looking for a great camera phone, then the Pixel 4a 5G has a lot of features for you to consider. Another reason to get the Pixel 4a 5G is for its performance. Now given the price range of this device and the existence of the Pixel 5, you'll be getting mid-range specs on the 4a 5G, which include a Snapdragon 765G chipset, 6 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, and a 3800 mAh battery. Now this means that there's not going to be 12 gigs of RAM or a Snapdragon AAA chipset on this thing. But for the price that you pay and the performance you get, I like to think that the Pixel 4a 5G does a great job. There's barely any lag, apps open up quickly, and I can even play some high caliber games on my device. There's a nice balance of price and performance, and as someone who uses this phone as my daily device, it's been a reliable piece of tech so far. The same goes for battery life. While the phone only comes with a 3800 mAh battery, the stock Android software on the 4a 5G works hand in hand with a somewhat small battery capacity to provide you with enough energy throughout the day. With moderate use centered mostly around video and music streaming, web browsing and messaging, I was able to get a decent amount of screen on time. But of course, if you play a lot of games or keep your screen on full brightness all the time, then this will significantly affect your battery performance. All right, so if you are after a phone with a clean and mostly unchanged version of Android, Android, then this might be a good fit for you. The Pixel Android experience consists mostly of a clean interface without any bloatware, monthly security updates, and a guarantee of at least three major Android updates. Personally, I've had a great experience with the Pixel version of Android as it's clean and functional. There are no ads on here, no duplicate apps, and most apps can be uninstalled if you have no need for them. The interface is slightly customizable, although I do wish that Google would have given us the option to use custom icons for the launcher. Another issue I do have is that certain apps and games don't utilize the full size of the display, leaving you with a black bar at the top of the display. I hope that Google does address this matter as other Android versions like MIUI and One UI allow you to force apps into full screen display. Despite these minor complaints however, the software in general has been smooth and reliable so far, at least in my experience. Alright, so now that we have discussed some of the pros in getting the Pixel 4a 5G, I just want to go over some points that you might want to take into consideration if you are planning to get this phone. Let's talk about the display on the Pixel 4a 5G. Now hear me out, it's pretty good actually. It's an OLED panel with a 1080x2340 resolution and offers great colors and contrast. But if you are looking for a high performance display, then you might be a bit let down by the this one. For starters, the refresh rate maxes out at 60Hz, it only comes with Grill Glass 3, and overall screen brightness isn't on the same level as what you'd get on more expensive hardware. More often than not, I usually have to set the display at maximum brightness when outdoors, and on particularly sunny days, it's a bit hard to make out what's on the display. The lack of a 120 or even 90Hz refresh rate might also be a deal breaker for people who are used to those kinds of configurations. Another point to consider is the lack of wireless charging. While the Pixel 4a 5G does support fast charging, you're pretty much stuck to the USB Type-C cable for charging sessions. If you do want a Pixel that supports wireless charging, then the more expensive Pixel 5 should suit you. Alright, so moving on, another feature lacking on the Pixel 4a 5G is expandable storage. There's no microSD slot on here, so if you tend to store a lot of games, movies, photos, and music on your device, then you're pretty much stuck with the 128GB of internal storage. Of course, a remedy for this would be to access your media through cloud storage 
storage or streaming services. But if you really need expandable storage, then you might want to reconsider. Okay, so last on this list is IP certification. The Pixel 4 a 5G features a nicely built and sturdy polycarbonate design. And while I do prefer this style to glass phones, it unfortunately does not feature any IP certification. You'll have to be extra careful when handling the 4 a 5G around pools or beaches, as there's no water or dust protection on this phone. Alright, so after talking about all this, there are certainly a number of factors to consider if you're planning on getting the Pixel 4a 5G. Personally, it meets a lot of my needs, it gets the job done, and I'm pretty happy so far. For people looking for more extensive features such as the ones I mentioned earlier, there are some compromises with this device that you'll have to take into consideration. On the other hand, if you want a perfectly dependable mid-range Android phone or a relatively affordable Pixel phone, then the 4a 5G is a great choice. Again guys, thanks a lot for checking out our videos here on TeamViewer Why. We do have more Pixel videos on the channel. And once again, thanks for watching.